Hello, it's Diane. It is 8.30 Monday morning and it's going to be a hot one today. So I went out early and went down to the Monday morning outdoor flea market. So I wanted to share you share with you what I got. Just a small haul today. Also, I stopped at a yard sale this weekend that I happened to, to go by. So I got a, a couple of items there and I'll show them to you. So these first three items are from the yard sale. This is a bird book and these both of these bird books were in a bag for 50 cents. The cover came off so I just threw the cover away but I like these pages though. The matte, not the glossy pages. And so I thought this would be really fun in a nature journal or a bird journal. And then this one I like because, I'm sorry it's so close, but I've got all these other things behind it. These are glossier pages, but they have illustrations, artwork instead of photographs, so I like that. Sorry. And so that was 50 cents for both of them. And then this was a quarter, this feed sack. Um, for corn grown in Pennsylvania, Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. Ed, excuse me, it's got, oh, sorry, I didn't tape my lens cap down and that makes a lot of noise. I'm sorry. Um, so there's pictures on both sides. So now I have, I don't know how many of these speed sacks that I need to make journals with. I want to use those for journal covers. <clears throat> okay. Today at the flea market, I just got a few things. I got a rook game. It looks vintage. I don't know how old it is, but it's not it's not the brand new version, that's for sure. And I love love the back of the cards. They are really neat. I think that was a dollar. This is Mrs. Wiggs of the Cabbage Patch. I used to have this story when I was young, but it was a really cheap Whitman version. And I actually, oh, I have it right here. It came apart because it was so cheap, and this was my childhood book. So I made a little notebook out of it. And I use it here in my, I haven't used it in a while, but I make notes in it in my craft room. So, I like the illustration on this. I didn't realize the book was this old. The story was this old. This is uh, 1901. And there's no pictures inside, I don't think. Yeah. So, I got that. Then, the Young, Young and Field Literary Readers, book two, with those orange and black and tan illustrations that you see in a lot of children's readers from olden days. Mm. 1916. <laughs> Dear boys and girls, do you like fairy stories? You do not need to tell us. We know you like them. So we are going to give you some to read. I got this one, Fact and Story Readers Primer. And this one has color pictures. Look at that. So pretty. Nineteen thirty. This one I looked at last week. And the vendor wanted, I think it was $5 for it. And I didn't want to pay that much. So today when I was there, I when I realized what vendor it was, when I saw, I had looked at this down here. I'll show you what that is in a minute. And this, and I think it was this book. When I saw this book, I realized this is a guy that charges more than I want to pay. But I asked him anyway, and he said all three for $10.00. And he, he wanted five for this, so I got this for two fifty instead of five. 
So, and the pictures, look, 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 look at those pictures. They are precious. The colors, the style, just beautiful. It's not in good shape. 1934, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, it's early. <laughs> okay. And this is a tin full of buttons, old buttons. I asked a guy how much he wanted for them. He said, well, the whole thing or just a handful? I said, well, I don't know, you, however you want to sell them, how much do you want for the whole thing? He said, 20 cents a piece. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not going to count all the buttons and then give you 20 cents for each button. So then he offered me a price and I turned it down. I ended up getting them for $10, which is more than I wanted to pay, but there's an awful lot of buttons in here. And I will be putting some in um, journal kits when I get around to making journal kits. It's got to be soon. I'm getting too much stuff. I need to clean some out. This is a Scrabble game that's complete. So, I can put Scrabble tiles in kits also. And then the last thing is this really neat looking metal hinged ledger book. Let me turn this around. And I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to get this book from this vendor because there was um, some really nice little small but really nice little vintage atlas books and they were from 1919 and he wanted or something like that 1901 he wanted 19 dollars for them and i you know he had them priced so i thought well i'll ask him but I, you know, he's going to want more than this more for this than i want to pay he said five dollars like oh okay so there's quite a few pages in there not a ton but they're nice long pages. Looks like they're about 14, um, about 14 inches long, wide, whatever. I don't know what I would do with this metal hinged book. The book covers itself are very heavy. It's really neat looking though. But I love the ledger pages. So, so that was my haul for today. And I'm going to try to get two more that my two paper doll books finished so I can get them in my shop but I don't know I'm going to be having my granddaughter here for a lot of the day so it depends on how much she lets me get done and how much I get done before I have to go get her school's out for the summer you know so I'll be I'll be having grandkids here more often so anyway I'll do what I can and um sorry I keep yawning <laughs> I didn't get much sleep um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little haul. Sorry for my little bit of a ramble there. And uh, I'll be back soon, hopefully, with some paper doll journals. Bye-bye.